हेलो गर्ल्स एंड गाइस लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन वेलकम बैक टू रोबो थॉट जीरो टू हीरो सीरीज वी आर ऑन लेसन नंबर थर्टीन विजन इंटेलिजेंस ऑन जेटसन नैनो एंड इन दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू एग्जीक्यूट योर फेशियल रिकग्नेशन लाइब्रेरी विच यू इंस्टॉल इन योर प्रीवियस लेसन राइट सो गाइस I hope you were successful in installing all those algorithms I showed you in the previous uh, uh, video, uh, the facial uh, recognition algorithm. And before installing that particular uh, uh, set of algorithms, there were several helper files and programs and stuff like that. I hope you were successful in installing each one of them step by step, and you enjoyed the lesson, right? <clears throat> just leave me a comment how much time it took for you and uh, in case if you have faced any uh, issues do reach out to me by email or leave a comment i will respond to you back all right guys so in this lesson uh, we will write about 30 40 lines of python code and i'll show you how to import the library the facial recognition uh, algorithm library which you install and how to import that in the ide and start executing one by one and stuff like that so all right let's get started so i will sh share my jetson nano visual studio ide and uh, let's proceed with some coding all right guys before that uh, what i would like you guys to do is just create a separate folder called facial recognition like the way i have done it here uh and then what you need to do is inside that folder create two different sub folder one is known and unknown this is where you will be grabbing your uh you know uh, pictures and start training the data sets so i'll show you how to do that but first please go ahead and create this if you don't know how to create i did show you earlier you need to go to file just open the folder which is there on your desktop which you created as a uh, you know you can name it as facial recognition whatever right in my case what i'll do is i already created a folder and i had also created a sub folder known and unknown so i am now going to create a python sketch by going to new file okay so this i will name it as uh, uh, so since we are going to grab the video uh, images from 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 the webcam so let's call it as live video uh live video fr facial recognition dot py you can name it whatever you want guys it's it's up to you so it doesn't really make any difference all right guys so now what we need to do is okay so let's 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 first import the face recognition library uh, the entire algorithmic set which is inside that library how do we import that import see can you see that import import face underscore recog recognition okay like this all right and then you need to open you need to import the open cv uh, uh, python uh, library which is your computer vision library okay import and what is the keyword for open cv it cv2 all right there you go all right now we need to import another tool called os okay so this os it stands for operating system of course it's a uh, it's basically a command which allows you allows you to automate the image sectors each and every image you import or you take it from your cell phone and put it in the folder called known or unknown there are multiple sectors in that so this particular program will help you to train those facial data in the folder okay so import os there you go all right and then what we need to do is import there is another tool called pickle it's not a tool yeah you can call it as a tool but it's 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 basically a python uh, uh, inbuilt uh, stuff so basically what happens is you you get the facial recognition enco encoding from uh, from from the facial recognition library from from the algorithm and that is stored inside your pickle file it it's basically creating a file okay 
and basically uh, pickle is nothing but it's a, in in python it's primarily used for you know serializing and deserializing the python object structure just go back to my previous lesson i showed you how to create an object in classes so when you when you when you put an image you you take an image a picture of your friend or or somebody from your family put it in a known folder okay so the the, the pickle will start capturing those into multiple sectors and start training it at, and create a separate file called pickle file so that's how this particular function is used so import pickle p i c k l e there you go pickle can you see the drop down guys automatically it comes up right okay now let's also print uh, the version of cv2 it's better to know which version we are running in cv2 dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore that's how the print command works and now what we need to do is all right so now guys the most important aspect after this after you import the libraries and uh, you import the tools and stuff like that on in, in your id when 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 we start the training sets of all the images you captured you know all the facial uh, records or or from the scanned images you captured you put it in a known image data okay we need to have an array to start putting those data into a encoder encoded array sectors okay hence this is this is all this will also create basically a empty array of encoding okay after you put the encoding in arrays we need to name those images in another array so that is why we have two different folder called known and unknown right in the known folder you will again you you will create a array of pictures right so you will name it as uh, robotot your name your 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 friend's name all the image files you need to name it and then the unknown images you will you will just have to serialize it uh, kind of 1 2 3 4 5 6 kind of thing all right and then we need to do the encoding so encoding encodings equal to since this is going to be array it's going to be open bracket and square bracket square bracket guys remember and then we will be assigning names so names equal to we will leave it empty again we are not going to assign anything all right so now once this is captured we will have to run the frames while running the frames what we got to do with we need to create a with open it's a kind of loop right with open in the training data that is your train dot say pickle pkl you can give any other name for pickle but it's advisable to give dot pkl right that ends with a dot pkl file the trained data uh, it will end as dot pkl file but instead of train you can give your own name any name whatever you wish i am just choosing train dot pkl pkl and then rb all right uh, single quote and then we need to as just give a indicator as f okay and then names within that with what's going to happen names equal to pickle dot load that will load the images as your name what you decided and then encodings equal to pickle let me just scroll up so that you guys can see pickle encodings equal to pickle dot load yeah names equal to pickle dot load and then encodings equal to pickle dot load f all right that's the way it will work and now what we need to do we need to set a font for each and every name what you had given for that particular known images the the pictures which you take and put it in the known folder you would have given some name your name or your friend's name whatever right 
so for that we need to have the font of that name which is going to populate so let's come out of this width loop and go to font equals to cv2 dot f font i'm just going to give a simple one uh, simplex so let's say let's select very simplex yeah no we can give anything actually you can select whichever you want yeah simplex not simplex okay that is your font and then we will set the camera capture so cam your video can sorry it should be in small cam equals to from your open cv dot video capture and then you need to use that particular syntax which i showed you in the previous to previous video whichever uh, port it works for you it can be either zero or one just check it out guys sometimes even if two access if you are using a usb camera ideally it should be zero right uh, so it's called forward slash dev forward slash video zero all uh, right and then from here we will start retrieving our frame how do we retrieve underscore underscore comma frame equal to cam dot read it will start reading let's close it once we read retrieve the frame let's make it as a small window equal to cv2 dot resize okay resize we need to resize the entire frame which captures sometimes it is huge right we got to resize and then do the analytic <coughs> resize frame comma zero comma zero that is the position once you set the position you got to set certain parameters and what is that parameter it's called fx equal to 0.33 basically it's a filtration criteria and then for fy equals to 0.33 so that's going to divide both the directions all right and then what we got to do frame rgb okay red green blue equal to cv2 dot cvt cvt color okay the good part of uh, you know the interpreter in any id but mainly in the visual studio is it will show in the drop down automatically so you don't have to type everything you can just pick it up cvt color and then frame small comma cv cv2 dot color underscore bgr22 can you see that in the drop down anywhere i don't see that bgr underscore bgr2 rgb there you go okay and then we need to take the face position which angle it is right face oops face positions equal to face underscore recognition okay and dot face underscore locations which locations exactly it is and that's going to be your red green from frame rgb and then you set the mode for your neural network all right which neural network it's going to be cnn all right and then all the encodings all encodings should be equal to your face recognition dot face uh, uh all encodings should be face recognition dot and then again face underscore encodings 
encodings okay and here we will set your frame rgb there you go frame rgb comma face positions all right there you go i love python man it's so simple and it keeps giving you the indicators right what you are supposed to select which is the good part all right now let's see okay now we need to start getting all this information from top to bottom on the x axis and the y axis and the reverse format so that you start grabbing each and every frame pixel by pixel that's how it works and it has to come within the loop right so let's say for let's create a for loop from top to right to bottom to left all right and then face underscore encoding underscore encodings okay encodings in your zip yep in your zip so that your face positions are all encoded again and then here we got to make sure that you you just started with the loop guys so how do we end it with a colon right with the colon and then once you are done with that you got to assign the names so name basically initially it's going to be unknown name it's going to get into your unknown folder and then start reading from there so it's going to be unknown and un unknown person why because if you are in the known folder uh, whatever the names you have created and that the one of the name doesn't match with the unknown folder one of the names like 1 2 3 it will say okay unknown person it will just throw up the name unknown person all right and then what we got to do matches equal to face underscore recognition dot compare underscore faces and then you got to do encodings comma face underscore encodings there you go all right and then we got to set a if statement within this particular for loop so that i'll just show you how it is if the above is true let me just scroll up if the above is true in matches in your matches if one particular frame of that picture is true then what you should do colon the first match okay the first match between known and the unknown okay the first match underscore index of you are going to set the index like 1 2 3 4 5 in unknown images okay first match index equal to matches dot index and this will be true all right and then the name equal to names and in the tuple let let's create an array here and that's going to be your first underscore match index there you go it's already populated okay and then let's come out of within this if flow outside the if flow let's take the position from top to from top right to bottom left okay so top equal to top into 3 what am i doing top top equals to top into 3 3 dimensionals and then right equals to 
right into 3 and same way bottom equals to bottom into 3 uh, right and then what we got to do let me just scroll it down scroll okay 3 and then left equals left into 3 all right now let us create <coughs> now you are ready with your entire frame right so 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 this code will walk into your unknown images look into the sectors and then compare that with your known images and if there are any known images for example one sector one has a known image in the known folder it will immediately populate the uh, the, the the names right whatever the name of that particular image you had given right it can be your name your friend's name whosoever it belongs to it has to populate right now what we got to do we have to form a kind of window of that particular face a kind of bonding box so how do we do that so cv2 dot rectangle okay rectangle where in the frame and then left top left top and then right and bottom okay right and bottom and then let's give a give a color so i would prefer say green so 0 comma 255 is your green rgb all right <coughs> and then let's give a weight say a thickness so maybe uh, 3 2 i think 2 will be too small say 3 3 is a sizable reasonable size kind of thick frame right and then what we need to do we will have to put that text of the image where you had already given a name right name of the person in that image right whatever the name you gave that will be captured and the using the put text uh, uh, program in python that will reflect that name <clears throat> that name will be reflected just above the window the rectangular window all right so cv2 dot put text see there you go automatically comes up put text and where do you put you are going to put it on the frame frame and where on the frame it has to be you can put it anywhere but it will look good if you put it either on the top on the corner or at the bottom right not in the middle so frame uh, let's say left uh, on the left of top okay left of top and then right comma bottom all right now let's put a <coughs> color to the text what color you want any color say zero comma no uh, let's give uh, red uh, sorry blue open cv is from bgr right so blue that is your 255 comma zero comma zero okay and then let's give a weight of three that's your thickness of the text how bold it should look right and now let's come out of this loop let's start showing this frame on your screen okay cv2 dot i am show all right i am show pictures picture picture uh, and uh, put the frame all right there you go now cv2 let's move the frame to one corner of the screen instead of showing in the middle right cv2 dot move window okay there you go move window where do you move picture 0 comma 0 the corner most position all right <coughs> now we got to 
use a program to kill the window when we want to stop you just cannot uh, you know close the ide and or or kill the program that's going to cause several other issues guys and that's going to crash your jetson nano it's better to have a kill command and that command is called if cv2 <coughs> dot wait key is running that means if it is that is one which is which is kind of working which is running equal to equal to ord of say give any key say let's say q all right you can you can assign any keys from your keyboard and then put a colon and then break uh, there you go the break is already in there break okay and we will come out of the loop once it breaks we have to release the camera or some guys this, this is very important right so sometimes what happens is in your jetson nano the stuff keeps running inside and it it will just hold back all the memory right and it is going to choke so we have to release from that particular port so how do we do that cam dot release all right that's how it is and then cv2 dot destroy all windows there you go all right guys how many lines of code it's almost 39 lines and how many mistakes i have done i have no idea only once you run and execute this you will know so face recognition we are importing the library and then the encoding and the training set and the file and the font and then we are converting all right so i hope this runs all right guys so let me connect my camera <coughs> let me just switch over the position here and then i'll be back in a minute uh, let me just connect all right i kept the camera in the position okay i have another camera let me just focus towards you guys or maybe i can focus towards me i'll just keep it like this and then we can try to run the program i'll just right click i hope it works run python file in terminal I don't see any error. What's happening? Mm. Why is it not running? Run Python file and terminal. it's not showing any error nor it is running that's kind of weird ideally it should show up some error where did this come from encoding 51 one second guys let me just check some kind of typo all right now let me just check run python file in terminal there seems to be some issue which i'm not 
Sure. Run by, let me run again, learn Python file in terminal. You get panic guys, really, right? Surprisingly, it's not showing up any error. What is happening? Let me just try to debug and I will once I can let me just scroll down and see what's happening. All right, there you go, guys. I think there was some uh, syntax error. Now it seems to be the video has come up. Let's check if it is detecting. Uh, let me just one second, guys. There are too many wires and cables on my desk and that gets messy sometimes. Okay, let me just show the camera. Oh, there you go. All right, unknown person. Anbu Kumar, there you go, guys. I think it is working. Perfect. All right, let me move the camera. Let me move myself and just check if it is. All right, seems to be working perfect. All right, there you go. There you go. All right, guys, see how, how clean it is. And I think if I'm not wrong, it should run approximately about 25 to 30 frames per second. We can also put a text and uh, show the frames actually on the window. I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. It's just about two lines of code unknown person so we got to train this again and again so mo more the amount of training the pickle folder file which you created you just have to run that program again and again at least for two three times and then you get the perfect output see it detects my name and then it says unknown all of a sudden all right that's it guys i think we are we are good with this lesson and then what we could also do is we can create a lot of other aspects into using the same face underscore recognition library. I'll show you a lot of other tricks guys. <coughs> it's pretty simple and interesting and uh, I hope you like this video and I hope you guys are learning. Do reach out to me if you have any suggestions and do reach out to me if you have any, any, any questions, if you are not able, if you are stuck somewhere do feel free to leave me a comment or my email id is already there and you can reach out to me on my email until then see you and i'm going to come back in next video which is going to get more and more interesting we are going to add all this stuff what we learned into the robotics application that means we are going to add some more extra peripherals and add some motors and sensors and start doing some interesting stuff all right guys see you then bye bye